This is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have truth. We have psychic. Okay, so somebody know the truth. It says transmute. There's a snake on the card. And then it says gratitude. So it feels like someone helped a person escape a situation. That's what it feels like to me. Like transmuted some type of attack or some type of poison. Somebody's grateful for that. Because maybe a psychic or maybe their intuition or maybe a spirit guide or something. Somebody told a person the truth. They told them the truth and it saved them. It saved them from being poisoned or some shit. I'm scared to look under gratitude. <laughs> What's underneath gratitude? It says boundaries. Yeah, you definitely need to put some boundaries up with whatever this fucking snake is. Okay, now that you know, because I feel like because of perhaps a psychic or a spirit guy, maybe you have an intuition or you use your intuition. Is something here. You saved yourself from something. You transmuted something because of maybe things that are unseen things that are hard to see maybe somebody connected the dots or some shit okay we have number 25 number 48 number 44 number 35 and number 26 could be significant okay let me get something here with this We have the Ace of Cups energy here. Now, what is this Ace of Cups? We have the Three of Wands energy. Like someone's going towards love, what they love, who they love. They're going towards some type of offer that's being made or something that was presented to them, given from God. Hmm. Somebody's not holding back anymore. They're ready to go. We have the 10 of wands energy. They're ready to give it everything. Everything. Let me get something with this. We have the eight of cups energy here. And leaving some old stuff behind. Whatever it is that they used to be part of or used to love or used to, how can I say, uh, see themselves in it. They don't see it like that no more. They don't see their reflection in that water no more. They have something new that they're going towards. Okay. And it's so beautiful that it's causing them to leave whatever it was in the past. It's calling them that deeply. We have the Ace of Swords here. Somebody's finding their truth. They're understanding something deeper here. Yeah, with this Eight of Cups and Ace of Swords, they're understanding something very deep about life. What's this here with this Ace of Swords? We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Something here about building something real. Like maybe somebody has a good idea. Maybe somebody just has a different vision for their life. What is this energy here? We have the nine of cups energy. That is just beautiful. This right here is so beautiful. And there's no major arcana here. What's at the bottom? Okay, never mind. We do have one major arcana. Death. Death. Transformation. Okay, doors closed, doors open. Something inevitable. It had to end. A transition here. And not going back. Something that changes on the inside. Yeah. Death is a crazy energy. It's not always about a, a physical death. Chiron intuition. But it still has that same effect. 
death, ending something, finally ending something or something finally ending. It's like that, you know, you can finally breathe or something like that. You can finally be free. What's this energy here with this, this Ace of Cups? Only one major arcana, Scorpio energy also. Something about your ancestors. Cause all these cups out here, man. I was, you know, the reason why when I seen the Ace of Cups, I was like, let me get one more is because immediately I felt like a spirit. I felt like it was a spirit. And I was like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause I seen gratitude and the light and the, okay. But now it was like, I see all these cups, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, even the death card is water energy. It is something about your ancestors, your spirits. It is, it really is. Especially it started with the Ace of Cups. It really is. It's about your soul. What's this energy here with this? We have the Eight of Pentacles energy here. Your profession. Your profession. What it is that you want to do for a living. What it is that you're great at. What it is that you bring the work. You bring the time. You bring the patience. With that thing, that's what you're about to pursue. Or that's what you're about to give you're all to. What is this energy here with this? And I mean professional. Because you don't get to the Eight of Pentacles just sitting on your ass. I'm just being real. Eight of Pentacles means that you did, you practiced something. You've mastered something. You can do something over and over again. And it will still be at a certain level. That's professional. Let me get something here with this. We have the five of swords energy here. So what is this five of sword about? What's the five of sword? What's the problem? What's the conflict? We have the knight of cups energy here. Hmm. There was some type of conflict. I don't know what it was. Some type of fight or argument or some shit. Maybe it happened at work or it happened. It was something about your profession or your professionalism or some shit. I don't know. It looks like it's causing somebody to just move it along. Taking their expertise elsewhere. That's what it's looking like to me. What's the energy here? Chiron, intuition. We have the four wands. Yeah, somebody's taking their shit elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Somebody was very guided to take this elsewhere. I don't know what happened with this five of sword. I'm surprised to see it, actually. I don't know. It must have not been a good conversation. Must have been some type of problem here. I don't know. It could be abuse or some shit. Abusing somebody's gifts or something. We have the Empress here. Yeah, somebody's going where they're going to be appreciated. Okay? Really? We got the Ace of Sword and the Empress. I don't know. There could have been a conversation with somebody's mother. Someone, I don't know, a, a higher figure or someone that a person really cares about. Or maybe you are the Empress. Let me get something here with this. Or somebody made it make sense. Shit, we got the Five of Pentacles. Let me get something here with this. What is this energy? And then we got the death card. Oh, shit. It looked like something done fell apart. Something done fell apart. Maybe when somebody walked away. Something, I'm telling you. It went Empress and then it went Five of Pentacles and then Death. That is straight down the damn hill. Okay? All the way to the bottom. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess let me get something here with this four of pentacles. I mean, four of pentacles. Let me get something here with this eight of pentacles. I don't know where I seen a four. I guess it's because somebody was stable, but we got the nine of sword here. Somebody was miserable as hell. Talented and miserable. I mean, talented and miserable. That doesn't match. You can't work under those kind of conditions. You can't be happy under those kind of conditions. You ain't living... You know, from within, for real, for real, if you're feeling like that. If you're looking like that. Okay, let me get something here with this. We have the Knight of Cups energy. Yeah, once again. 
right after the bullshit five of sword here knight of cups after the five of sword same knight of cups here Chiron, let me get something here this is somebody that still has an open heart they want to go it's like the knight of cups is not a fighter they're a lover they make peace they want peace they want love they want things that feel good they want to blossom and grow like a flower let me get something here with this this knight of cups energy double knight of cups yeah we got the chariot i'm telling you somebody left somebody's leaving they're going after what they love once and for all hell or high water they do not care they're not letting nothing block them that is the energy that i'm seeing here for whoever this is and they plan on succeeding we have the king of wands energy here and being a leader of some sort being the leader of something some type of thing in a community maybe what is this energy here very solid energy though very sure and confident we got the magician here okay let me get something here wait a fucking minute we got the lovers with the five of pentacles so it's the relationship somebody feel left out in the cold so it could be this damn um this empress is doing something if you left somebody that was in charge of something they're doing something let me get one more card out here they're doing something to hurt you what okay we only gonna take this one that fell on the table and we got the hangman i told you i told you they trying to put somebody up in the air they trying to they probably got somebody in the freezer right now i'm telling y'all what i know they probably got somebody in the freezer right now. Your name or some shit all wrapped up in some fruit or some shit, okay? Look, they probably got your name somewhere up in the fucking freezer. Because they try, they definitely trying to have somebody stalled. They definitely trying to have somebody stuck. They're like, you going to leave me out on the cold? Okay, I got you. That's how this person is doing. Because you want to go after what you love. That's how they're doing. It's like they're blocking relationships here. It's a Gemini energy here. Okay, Virgo, Gemini, is our, our Taurus, Sagittarius here, Cancer energy, a water sign, a fire sign. But yeah, it's giving an energy where they're trying to tie up somebody from going to relationships. They're trying to tie up somebody from loving anybody or being happy. They're just trying to tie their ass up, basically. Okay, I don't know exactly everything they're trying to do, but it's something here because I'm looking back over here with this truth and psychic and transmute and gratitude. Yeah. There's something here you got to protect yourself against because you can't be over here in the hangman and the death. That's not good. That's not good. Let me get something here with this. They're definitely doing some magic, though. They're definitely doing. That's what that snake is. They're definitely doing it. And the death card is out here twice. Scorpio energy. OK, somebody's real like real vengeful, real dark and shit. But they'll smile in your face. We have the ace of cups here. It's something here, it's in you, and it's a gift. It's something here that's coming from God. It's literally coming from God, and I feel like it's something new to take you out of some old shit. That's the second time that the Ace of Cups came out, and it's in the same row, the same column or whatever. What's here with this? We have the Hermit card here, Virgo Energy. Hmm. Maybe something you've already been looking at. Maybe you've already been looking for the answers, like looking for a way out of this situation. Something here where you've had time to realize what you want or what you deserve. We got the hangman energy here. And it's like right on top of the chariot. It's like it's something here about being stalled. Something here about being stalled, but at the same time, seeing the truth. Like being delayed. Somebody's holding you up. It went King of Wands, Magician. Yeah, I'm just saying. It could be a fire sign here with the King of Wands and Magician out here like this, looking at the chariot, and the chariot is in hangman position. Hail to the gnaw. And that's so funny because look how these two... Um, Knight of Cups are out here. They're trying to go after what they love. It's two of them out here. And they're both touching the chariot. And the King of Wands is looking at the chariot. And they got it in hangman position. And the Hermit has been doing their research on something. They know something here. 
They know why something is not working or why they're not. Yeah, because this motherfucker has been doing spells and shit. They have been doing something here to stop you or stop your connection. They've been doing this shit. They've been doing it. For whoever this reading is for, I you know who you are. That's exactly what they have been doing. For who, like for real. I would not say it if I didn't feel it 100%. For whoever this reading is for, who you're dealing with, they don't want you to go nowhere. And they have been doing things to tie you up. Whether you believe in that shit or not, it's a real thing. It's funny how the evil motherfuckers, they, they know it's real. But the healers and shit, you know, we need more time to, you know, believe in our gifts. But the evil motherfuckers, they believe in their shit. They believe in it. Because they see your ass still in the same spot. And it's like, no. We gotta break that shit. We gotta break that shit now. Let me get something here with this King of Wands. What's here with this energy? We got the four of swords energy here. Somebody being quiet, silent, not saying nothing, not speaking on something. Trying to act like they at peace, but I don't see nobody at peace in the hangman energy. I see somebody realizing some shit that they, they can't go nowhere. We got justice here and it's right on top of the magician. Let me get something with this. Libra energy here. Somebody think this shit is fair. Somebody think it's right. We got the Hierophant energy here. I don't know, some type of commitment here, some type of oath maybe that was taken, something with the relationship and leaving the relationship. <laughs> somebody think they have every right to keep you. And we got the will of fortune. Thank God. Do you know that this is somebody's key right here? Because it's coming out right on the hangman. This unlocks the shit right there. That is the code. The will of fortune. That's the code. And we got it right on top of the hangman. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's here with this? Actually, no. What's here at the bottom? What's at the bottom? We got the two of pentacles here. Now, it looked like something. I don't know who this with the two of pentacles. This can mean a lot of things here. But I'm looking at this and I see somebody that is, how can I say? They need to keep something up. Something needs to be kept up. Something needs to be like reoccurring. Something needs to become like a ritual. Something needs to, you need to find balance with this in your life. Okay. Is what I want to say. Something here you need to find balance with. Because there is something that's ending. It's finished. It's death out here twice. You got the Ace of Cups out here twice. You got a few cards out here twice. What else is out here twice? The Hangman is out here twice. Yeah, I think that's all I see right here. That's out there twice. Let me get something here with this. And that's so funny. You know, another thing I'm just noticing, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, they're facing each other. So they're looking dead at each other. And then this chariot, so, so it could be a water sign, a fire sign. This chariot could be, you know, cancer. Um, they're both looking at this chariot. But it's hangman position, like it's not going nowhere. Why it's not going nowhere? Why is this not working? Why? It's like, imagine your engine and shit not working. It's like, why is it not working? Why is it not working? We need to call somebody. We need to call AAA. We need to call. It's like, yeah, you need to call them. You definitely need to call them. You need to call somebody. Because this person is doing shit. They really are. Look, and it's the hangman. And on this card, it even says cursing. Cursing, as in putting a curse on somebody. And this is the hangman energy. Y'all, I'm screaming. That's the third time the hangman is out here. I'm telling you, they're doing something. The message is not for everybody. Please don't everybody think that the people is doing some shit. But like, really, if you've been trying to get the fuck out of there and you just can't. No matter what you do, even though you know that there's no reason why you can't. I'm telling you, they're doing this shit. They're either doing it or they're paying somebody to do the shit. And it's real dark, too. Look, two of cups. I, I'm about to throw these motherfucking cards. Lord, cursing and two of cups. They said you're not going nowhere. That's how they're going to do. I don't know what kind of shit they're doing or what they're paying for. What is this energy? The damn devil. <sighs> I got chills, y'all. I can't believe this person is doing this. Pisces Capricorn here. I can't believe this person is doing this. And we got the Emperor. Aries energy, fire sign, boss. 
I said the same thing when I seen the Empress. I was like, damn, it went Empress, Five of Pentacles, and then Death. That's probably how this Emperor is feeling. Let me get something here. And then we got the Strength card at the bottom. Leo, Leo Energy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Somebody's literally like trying to put a hold on somebody. They're not playing. Dark ass magic. Let me get something here with this. Look, it says harmony and resolution. God said, don't worry about that shit. Don't worry about it. Look, joy and contentment. They're not going to stop that shit. You got two Ace of Cups in the same row. They're not going to stop that shit. Look, come for motherfucking Mation. Come for motherfucking Mation for whoever you are. Thank you very much. Okay? I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.